assistants Nick and Co. A such a reporter of his drone. For the cassette that is our only home. But in the meantime, the play the greatest clips they Show of the year. Wow. It's wow. The countdown time. All what right. a year. This is the show where we watch uh, old VHS tapes. Joe's in her office with 11,000 videos. Mm-hmm. I'm Nick. That's Joe. We got George and Steve here for our final episode of 2021. And it's been a hell of a year. We've done some live shows. We've done a ton of uh, internet shows. VCR Party, Saturday Morning Cartoons. We did the Alphathon this year. So, we did. Some might say we did too many shows. Feels like it. Feels What'd like it. We'll yeah. talk. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, well, towards the end of the show, we'll give you our January plan. We're taking a little sabbatical, but we'll still be here every week for you. Um, and this is our end of the year show. This is where we always name the best video of the year. These are our most viewed shows, and um, so I think we're we've got some good ones. Despite being a weird year, we got some great VHS clips. Also, I would say this is our most controversial episode every single year because people don't always agree with it. People get angry yeah. about this one. Yeah. And I, I have a feeling there's going to be some fights tonight uh, with what's going to be number one because I'm fighting hard for mine. All right. Um, <laughs> you're setting the stage for a fight. Okay, great. <laughs> that, uh, that's my threat. I'm threatening all of you right now. Well, there is no controversy at all about last year's number one pick. It's Camp no. Cabbage. I think it there was, was. There was a little bit. Pretty unanimous. Uh, no. This is, no a video that Bob had just sent to us. That was a souvenir from 1994. I got it right here. Yeah, here it is right here. Take a looky. There it is. Nice tape. Oh, 1990. I said 94. So yeah, ni- 1990. And it was basically Xavier Roberts, the founder of Cabbage Patch Kids, had a convention for Cabbage Patch enthusiasts. And um, Cabbage Patch Kids are, you know, they're in the zeitgeist again. There was that 8-bit Christmas movie on Netflix, and it was a lot of it was about uh, the demand for Cabbage Patch Kids in 1988. My, my favorite part about it is that it's kind of like the McDonald's training video that we have, where it's a multi-gazillion dollar corporation, and they just put out, like, the worst training video. Like, this is this is just a, a like, it's shot on home movie, uh, yeah. on home video, and it's barely edited. It's really boring. The shots aren't well composed. It's like a tourist shot it with a camcorder well and uh that, that's part of the charm and i'm just going to show a clip uh from last year's winner camp cabbage this is where xavier roberts shows up at the end and signs everybody's t-shirts and um if you had to watch an ad before this episode that probably for this ridiculous cabbage patch song that's in this that is somehow registered on youtube's algorithm so camp cabbage here's a trip down memory lane How nervous he is. In my cabbage patch <laughs> dreams. Someone to play with. Oh, he's signing it above the printed signature. Stay with each night. In my cabbage patch dreams. I love XR, Xavier Roberts. You actually got me, I think, for my birthday, a Camp Cabbage t-shirt. Yes, I did. That was signed. Yes, I did. Might have been signed at this very convention. It might have been. Yeah, they just they just let it go. Yep. In my Cabbage Patch Dreams. Have you ever had a Cabbage Patch Dream? Anybody? Yeah, George has. Steve. Steve's a no. I just checked eBay, a uh, hand-signed uh, oh cabbage patch. It's either $30,500 or $2,061, depending on which one you got. Really? Get. Yep. Um, I like this. Uh, if, if I, if, like, this is a coat I would be buried in. If somebody could find <laughs> this jean jacket signed okay. by Xavier Roberts with a <laughs> with somebody's art of Xavier We, we, we should do an episode where we all, like, have our will. Like, we all write out our will. You know mm. what I mean? Like Nick, like for your will episode, this that that will be on your will episode. 
Yeah, right. let's do it. Okay. It's the, cl- it's the clothes we'll be buried with. Yes. Wow. Yeah, and I think well, the reason why we liked it is it was funny, but it also had some heart to it. And it, it was this, like you were saying, Joe, is this little subculture and obviously, you know, should have been budgeted a lot higher, but had a very homemade quality to it. I, I watched a documentary about Beanie Babies. I think it was called Be- Beanie Mania. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's on Netflix or on Amazon. Yeah, I don't Netflix. know where it is. Yeah. Did you watch it? Not yet. Oh, it's so good. It's really, really good. But it makes me respect the hell out of Xavier Roberts because the, the Thai guy, Ty Warner, I think his name mm-hmm. is Ty Warner. He doesn't give a shit about any like he's just a reclusive. He doesn't give interviews. He sure as hell doesn't like sign jackets that he's on like <laughs> but these people love him just as much as they love xavier roberts and uh it's worth checking out that documentary. okay you definitely see that yeah um, also for the record i thought that taco bell game the img from last year should have won and i still think that mm. although i do love camp cabbage so a little bit okay. of controversy with that yeah all right well we went with the vhs clip because that's the namesake i think that was the right thing to do yeah don't want to reopen old wounds um <laughs> steve what's going on with your background you know, um, this week, uh, I think a lot of people probably want to return their gifts and get stuff they really want. So this week, um, the sellout Steve is self-sponsoring for once, and we are uh, putting up the found footage store. So store.foundfootage.com. I'm going to cover myself for a minute. You can see there's are some of the things you can get, a bunion surgery tea. Uh, everyone needs a Hello Melinda's mug. I'm wearing the sweatshirt currently. There's a lot of great stuff. The puzzle I have up twice, that's how much I love it. Chop and steel um, T-shirt there. Uh, yeah. Oh, the rocks wouldn't workout without weights. Shirts, I think, came in. The sweatshirts did. Yeah, oh. I think there, I see a box that hasn't been opened yet. It's a big. Oh, that's yeah. probably it. Yeah, you should yeah. open it at some point during the show. These came yeah. in right before I left. For, I'm in Wisconsin still for the holidays, but these came in. I think these are sharp as hell. Look at these oh, shirts. Yeah. Yes, look at that. That so, is so yeah. That is we really wanted cool. it, but yeah, if you just want the generic, you know, version of our live show found footage festival, pretty sweet Johnny Ryan logo there. And uh so yeah, those are those should be up uh in, in the store this week. And we'll have I got my on. Martin Carlton shirt on and oh, yeah. obviously my Melinda uh sweatshirt on. So and it's, then if you want, <laughs> you know, email Joe and Nick and yell at them, they should get these VCR party booze hound hats out. Uh, currently, I'm the only one sporting it, rocking a one of one. So <laughs> that's going to be the softball team for yes. next summer. We're going to have a softball team. So far, we have four on our team. <laughs> yep. Four right. people. And we have nobody to play because we have no peers. There's just nobody else. Everything is terrible. Yeah, sure. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Right. A lot of star right. athletes in, the, in what we do. A lot of just jocks. Oh, by the way, Steve, it's store.foundfootagefest.com if you're looking for oh, that. Oh, did I say festival? Sorry about that. Yeah, I think it was just stored out found footage, but it's there's a fest in there. So check check that out. Should we get to it? I mean, let's jump is... in. I'm, I'm excited about this. I think that there's like I was cutting together my clips and I was like major laughs today. I can't wait to see what you guys have. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, let's show ourselves. Let's show ourselves our raviolis. Best of 2021. Well put. <laughs> Come on, let's see your raviolis. Show us your raviolis. Show us your raviolis. Show us your raviolis. <laughs> Shows your Ravnellies, shows your Ravnellies, shows your Ravnellies. I put together uh, my five highlights that aren't necessarily my winners, but the things that uh, brought me the most joy this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you guys want to see that, let's did, do that did, first. You did something like that too, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did okay. honorable mentions. So go ahead, okay. Joe, and then I'll okay. do my honorable mentions. And then here's we'll my best it. of uh, 2021. Um, the first one is so uh, the Milwaukee Bucks won. Uh, the champion, the NBA championship last summer, which was big. Wisconsin hasn't won a championship in a long time. And you always hope that they will put together a song, you know, like a Super Bowl shuffle or a let's ram it or something. They didn't do it, but another guy did. Uh, Eddie J. Lemberger, uh, he put together a song, and this was one of my favorites of the year. I just couldn't get enough. Get bucks lust. I love my Milwaukee Bucks. Got bucks lust. And it's flying windows we too. Vibe yeah. Supreme it really virtuosity, a supernatural, unflappable command. So you just had great lyrics. Mm-hmm. It had a, a catchy toe tapper, and the Bucks won. And mm-hmm. it's just you can't ask for much. Real highlight. That. It really was. Um, also, uh, last summer. So the summer before last, twenty twenty, I I, de- I declare that the summer of IMGs. Mm-hmm. Last summer for me was the summer of Songer, the discovery of Daniel Songer. 
And uh, for those of those of you who don't know who Daniel Songer is, he's the worst internet comedian. He's on uh, YouTube, and um, here, here's just a clip of of uh, Daniel Songer. Sex, sex, sex. I'm the sex machine. Do you know what I mean? I'm the sex machine. You know, and I'm like, I wanna have sex. So it, here's the thing. He's well known. People know about Songer, but I discovered him last summer. Tim introduced me to him and uh, I fell in love and it was the most polarizing. I just loved like how it's split the Melinda's so much. It, um, you either love him or you hate him. Mm-hmm. So that was a highlight for me. You guys too? Or no? Do you agree? Or uh, I agree It's a highlight in Melinda's. doses. Yeah. George? Not so much. Not okay. so much. Okay. Um, oh, the discovery of uh, Frank Tapia. Burp, uh, burp points. So uh, this guy, we uh, I think my brother was on an episode. We watched this video over at my brother's yeah. place. You remember Frank Tapia? He's yeah. this guy on YouTube, and he uploads like just parts from movies, usually like the beginnings of movies and the ending of movies. And you can usually see, you can kind of see his reflection in the TV, and you'll hear him muttering stuff. And he burps a lot. And we started something called Burp Coins. Um, Wayne and Christopher went on a deep dive they found a bunch of his his burps and here's just a little montage of some of my favorite highlights from uh tapia tapia's burps once upon a time in a land far away a very small girl named excuse me uh, excuse me excuse me in the season of santa uh, excuse me excuse me once again about it i mean what what a find what a find like how how could you ever possibly find that except on this show nobody knows about that yeah wayne mined a lot of tapia burps and um christopher too and i I paid them i think i paid them like seven cents a burp or something or something like that and they each got checks for like 14 bucks so that's how many uh yeah exactly so um oh so eric our buddy eric who does a, a tumblr page called answer phone where he collects uh answering machine tapes at thrift stores um he f- he found some good like answering machine messages and there's one in particular of this uh older woman calling up uh, somebody else like uh, calling up her friend and telling her about this harrowing story of um well i'll just play a clip from it and I, by the way, I, I added all the visuals to it. So uh, looking at it and all of a sudden I thought, my good Lord, did I poop in the bed? Mm-hmm. So I flies out of bed and runs in the bathroom. And I was shocked. My bathroom or my nightgown was full of red blood. Mm. So do you guys remember that? Yeah. And it, and a lot and it of people worse. didn't think it was real. They, they thought the call wasn't real. But no, these are absolutely on those little mini answering machine tapes. That's where 100% this hundred percent real. Yeah, yeah, that bothered me that people thought, like, how, how could we even make that up? I mean, Why would because we? Her, yeah. Because her voice is kind of cartoonish. I was thinking maybe that's the reason why. But that's her actual voice. There are other voicemail messages from her on some of his other tapes, too. So mm-hmm. I'm excited. So this year, 2022, I'm going to do a bunch more of those. Because I, I just love those answers. It's a good format, so, yeah. Yeah. Because um, for then, the longest time, you know, we don't work with audio. So it's like, how do you present those on the this show? But that's it. It's it's using, it's stealing stock images. Yes, exactly. Us, mm-hmm. Using uh, Google images. So, um, all right. And then the last one was a song that um, I commissioned Todd to make. Todd from Minnesota. Todd Hansen from Minnesota. Um, Nick, so Nick, do you have your uh, your mug nearby? No, it's in the car. Oh, you left in the car. Okay. Well, he has yeah. this big green straw that he takes sips from every so often. I can't take my eyes off of it. And so I commissioned Todd to write a song called Nick Sips. And this is a real highlight for me. This song has been in my head ever since. Oh, by the way, he, his pseudonym was Billy B. I don't know why he wanted to do that, but he did. And so on. So, uh, <laughs> and so on. 
And even though I don't like me, you know, my sips of water being pointed out and scrutinized, I do love the song. You got to admit. It's undeniably a great yeah. song. Yeah. And uh, it's a catchy toe tapper. And I think it might make a, an appearance in this year's uh, or next year's toe tapping tournament. We'll oh, see. interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, here's a little fun fact. Um, what's in there? Straight vodka. Because otherwise really? I, tr I tremble. Yeah, I need it. Oh, uh, you had to yeah. get the shakes. Yep, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. I, I just put together, it was very tough for me to decide on my top three videos to nominate for video of the year. So I just put together some honorable mentions, ones that didn't quite make the list, but it's debatable that they should have. I remember this at all. This is Males in Motion. Part of October. Oh Hi, no. This is Winston the Wonder Bear again. <laughs> now don't have a worry and don't have a care. Just sit back and listen to this rapping bear. I mean, he was a dancing bear. I mean, you gotta admit. Yeah. Just like I think I, Jackson bear. I think I wanted to hate this one, but I think I couldn't not hate it. Yeah, exactly. And the Melinda's I really loved bear aerobics. And this was another storied one where, you know, this was somebody wrote in and said, hey, I watched this puberty video. Do you have any idea? If you, could you find it for me? And we, George uh, found these people who showed it in a pancake film festival. And we tracked them down on LinkedIn and they appeared with us on an EP mode uh, on our Patreon. We watched the whole thing. But here's a highlight from this video called I Got It. Now, about once a month, your hormones cause one of your two ovaries to release an egg that travels through the fallopian tubes into the uterus. Now, if the egg is not fertilized, the lining is not needed, and this breaks down into a reddish fluid that slowly flows out of the body through the vagina, and that's your period. <laughs> Terrific. I, 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 wait, wait, wait. Yeah. I just like I just like to point out that so far everything that you've shown has been sexual. So bear aerobics. That. Well, that's on you then. <laughs> if you think bear aerobics, yeah. Oh, wait, I forgot about that one. Other than bear aerobics, everything. Wait, what do we got coming up? Cooking with beefcake. Another sexual one. Here we yeah. go. Well, right. I don't I don't think floppy into pancakes are very sexual. That's, for that's me, the but... pinnacle of sexual. Mm, that's no. That's the definition of sexual. The shedding of lining is hot. Let's yeah, just go well, with that. All right. Thanks. Revealing more about you than me. Oh, sorry. This show is designed for all of you out there who want to enjoy the great food of Southern JP California Morgan. and the men who come with it. So come on into my kitchen and have a good time. Um, Sylvester? Yeah, absolutely. What, what can I do for you? You know what I mean? <laughs> Les ingredients. Robin? Nanu, nanu. It's Stallone and Williams in one. Nanu, Nanu. <laughs> I love the good impressions, darling. What do you want this? Right here. Oh, I know what you've been waiting for. Drop them. <laughs> I have a theory that there is no cooking with beefcake one because I've looked it up there. You know, somebody mentioned that they've seen it, but I think it's BS. I think there's only they just did two. Because, you know, we've taught, we've shown the Venus 2, you know, the um, the masturbation device before. And when we talked to the inventor of it, he said, we said, what happened to the Venus 1? What Did the prototype explode? Why the need for a sequel? And he said, there was no Venus 1, but this makes it look like the newer, better model. Oh, I it's see. like Leonard Part 6. Exactly. Just skip to the, the sequel. People will think it's already refined and better. Well, I was wondering, maybe this came out around the same time as Look Who's Talking To. Hmm. And Could so, be. Yeah, yeah, like two was hot right the, at, it, at the moment. It definitely was around that time. So those yeah. are just, keep in mind, those are just honorable mentions that we're showing off so far. Those aren't even our top three. So let's get into our top three of the year. All right, I'll start with mine. So this is um, a video that Bob had just sent called Body Art. And so um, we get, a, I mean, as you just saw with all Nick's videos, uh, we, we get a lot of videos with nudity in it. But this one. This one is just like, it's an hour long and it's nudity that I've never seen before. It's some like brand new nudity. And, you know, one thing we guarantee at every found footage show is full frontal male nudity. And so to get that video, it's like, oh man, we're going to be 
we're stocked up for the next several years. We're going to be okay because of body art alone. So uh, I'm just going to show some highlights from uh, body art. Major vision. So they do body paint. Oh, cool. Remember this? The concept is comparatively <laughs> simple. <laughs> and it, it can looks be like us. practiced by virtually anyone, <laughs> provided non toxic water based. Yeah, I, still you, I see you still didn't blur anything out. <laughs> no, but, but there's no way like YouTube's going to be able to see that, are they? Yeah. yeah see that. It, looks right. like a, it looks like his dimple. Okay. <laughs> also, the. Uh, I don't get the. So, do you really think his anti rain dance works? Amongst <laughs> nature's filmmakers, body painting was perhaps Apparently first not. captured in detail by David Ball of Heritage Video. As part of his so Nick, will you blur out those the paintings <laughs> no. of the dongs on the no. naked lady? No. Okay. <laughs> I will blur out her genitals, though. What? Did, can you explain the joke? Did we ever figure out what this joke means? I think it's just that the he's dumb because obviously it didn't work and it's raining. Do you really think his answer? Who's his? Who's, well, who's he, I don't know. He I'm, talking about? I'm guessing the Native American who's right off, probably on her back. Her back. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> First captured in detail by David Ball of Heritage Video. Okay. As part of his excellent Naked USA series. They also noticed... they also tackled uh, body piercing too, if you remember. Your pierced yeah. genitally. Does sex <sighs> hurt or is it a blurring when machine? You're pierced through the penis or in the woman's case through the labia. Well, it doesn't hurt the one who's pierced. Why does the piercer have to be? Naked? Yeah, I know. It seems weird that the piercer would have to be. No. <laughs> On his computer too. Nick, yeah. you know what I what I noticed today? Do you th is this the guy from Accident Stink? Do you remember the Accident Stink where he's like, and you don't want to have an accident? You remember mm -hmm. that guy? Do you, do you know who I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. We got to do a side by like side. Him. Yeah, it does look like him a little bit. And that's a video about like about butts, and this is one about like dicks. So maybe mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. All right, so that, that that's mine. Body art. Oh, uh, okay, there's, good. There's, I'm glad we didn't see any more there. No, um, and, and there's still so much more. There, there's uh, previews at the beginning, which like I haven't shown them just because I would have to blur out way too much. But this is such a good tape. There's so much good stuff on this. So that's my number three. All right, let me show my number three. This is a video that was towards the end of the year, has lit the world on fire. There's a lot of discussion about this, and it comes from a college for kids class I was in in middle school. It's a show called Tyler's Hideaway. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to another episode of Tyler's Hideaway. Today we have two very special guests with us. Both of them are impressionists. What's your, what, was your, what got you started in? Impressionate, Rich yeah. Little. Mm -hmm. um, what got you interested in, interested in make, making, imitating other people's voices? Well, I heard Rich Little, and then I just thought that I could do something like that, and then it just came to me. Across the board, great body you language. Get nervous? Just exuding confidence, exuding. I would say wonderful framing too mm -hmm. on the uh, camera operator, <laughs> on the cinema cinematographer. Sorry, yes, cinematographer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's always nervousness, but mm. um, how would you like to do some for us? Mm. Well, I don't care. Okay. I don't care. Go up there. Well, I don't know because that might hurt Nancy's feelings, and then again, Oliver North. Um, his superiors told me about it, and I believe his testimony. Okay. That was good. Tony? The name is Bond. James Bond. Agent 007. Well, you better watch out there, Missy, or you'll be dead right where you sit. <laughs> All right. That was very good. Um... Like, of course do, it was. Do you guys know anybody else that does this style of stuff? Do any of your friends do it or? They try. <laughs> A few of them. Mm. Um, um, 
Look at what Tyler's doing with this. He's putting yeah. his his palms under his knee and then kind of bouncing it. It's his hideaway. He can do whatever he wants. Oh, well, that's all <laughs> time we have for today. See you next time when we have the president and the pope. I mean, I mean, come pretty on. Pretty damn good. It's pretty damn good. Come on. I, I like it a lot. Uh, but, but, you know, Tyler, he he makes like Mark Huntsman, one kid's opinion. He makes him look like Johnny Carson, doesn't he? Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. Like, I mean, the Chris Farley show was like a top 10 sketch on SNL of all time. This does it better. Yeah. It's, it's more awkward. It's more I think uncomfortable. Either one of the two guests would have been a better host than Tyler was. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the fidgeting. I mean, it's just, uh, I don't know. I think people just need to uh, really rethink that one because it's a top video of the year. Uh, George, what do you got for number three? Well, I let's see. I believe it was the intersection of capitalism and uh, pro wrestling in what we call pasta mania. I am really glad to be here at Mall of America. Open it up, pasta mania, Hulk Hogan's pasta mania, yeah. Well, you know something, brother? Hulk Hogan's been running wild for a long time around the Twin Cities, and usually when the Macho Man and Hulk Hogan come to the Twin Cities, we're here to wrestle people, time and knots, brother, and run around and entertain all of our Hulkamaniacs. But it is so crazy to see all the pasta maniacs, brother, running around the Mall of America, because what you gonna do, pasta maniacs, when pasta mania runs wild on you, brothers? Because once you eat Hulk Hogan's Pasta Mania, brother, not only are you going to get the energy, the pythons, as you're pushing the shopping cart around, they're going to start to swell. You'll be able to pick more merchandise up off the shelves. The kids will be able to carry more toys. And then when you get real tired, you've got to stop one more time at Pasta Mania before you go out to the parking lot. Ooh, yeah! What you going to do when Pasta Mania... And Hulk Hogan run wild on you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there yeah. it is. Some pasta mania for the pasta, pasta maniacs. maniacs. <laughs> you don't, I mean, you don't even have to lift weights. All you have to do is like eat fettuccine, right? And mm-hmm. then you're like, and then you'll get those big muscles, right? Yep. Yep. Oh, I did pa- it. <laughs> pasta, pasta mania lasted less than a year, by the way, at the Mall of America. Not a huge in our memories for forever. forever. Yes. Did they sell did they sell t-shirts? Have we talked about this? Do they uh did they have a, a merch line? Somebody found a pasta mania shirt or an apron or something and yeah. they, they told us about it. So, oh, like yeah. a uniform that the employees actually had to wear. Could have, oh, maybe it was that. Yeah. I think okay. somebody sent sent us something. So yeah, there was they did have some merch. Okay. Yeah. Um Steve, what about you? What's your number three? My number three is a video uh from Brazil, I believe. This was one of those that, um, you know, normally when things get too awkward or just like a car crash, I'm usually the one underneath the desk. But this one, everyone was blissfully ignorant of the car crash. So it became one of my favorite videos of the year. Brazilian TV. Kids Kids show, yep. It's a perfect yeah, video. Yeah, it's a perfect video. Yeah, I, I had that in my in my honorable mentions too, and it's a perfect video. It's just it, and yep. you end with the Larry thing. You have an ending to it too. It's yeah, good. 
Oh. Yeah, luckily a lot of uh, Brazilian little girls didn't uh, speak English that or didn't understand the lyrics that That's much. Open. So yeah, yeah. I, I think the only problem why, why that one can't be in contention is it has like two million views online. So, mm. but uh, we were introduced to it for the first time this year, so it, yeah. it still counts. We can still talk about it. It's not going to win, yeah. but. Yeah. And I, I don't think many people have seen that, too. So that's 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 a definite like, I mean, clearly two million have over many years. But yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Joe, what's your number two? Number two is um, so this one, this one blindsided me. I did not see this one coming. I think this was like, which episode was this? I think this was episode uh, 177. And we were going out on this uh, music video for for Sarah Lee pie it was a it was called one sweet story is a music video nick and you you were playing it and uh i remember at first just being like oh okay it's just another like kind of industrial video where they have a song but it kept going and going, <laughs> going. and going and going to the point where like i had tears streaming down my cheeks because i was laughing so hard and we were just getting into it i'm just going to show just i'm going to show us watching the video at the end because that was just so much fun and this was found on VHS in Wisconsin, I think, in a in a garbage can or something. But yeah, I was gonna say, where did where did we get this? Because was it? Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, it's not it, a cyber video, is it? No, but a guy found it in on VHS in Wisconsin at like a garage sale, and okay, yeah, and uploaded it to us. So okay, yeah. okay, good. So uh, all right, here we go. <laughs> it just keeps restarting. Yeah, and it's just people. Oh, and it's just people in hairnets, like uh, <laughs> smiling at the camera. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's a it's a hairnet jam, uh, and it's just it just keeps going on and on. They have so many employees, they show every single one of them. Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> my favorite video of all time. This is my favorite Spin Doctor song. <laughs> It, yeah. it was it just completely blindsided me. And I remember we got an email from somebody saying, hey, I was having a terrible week this week. And then I started watching the end video. And uh, he said that he had tears uh, of joy uh, watching that. And uh, that made me feel really good. And I was like, oh, man, that's yeah. such a great video. Yeah, um, it just keeps yeah. going. Uh, yeah, uh, that, that one's worth revisiting. That's that's up there for me, too. That might be in contention. That could uh, be number one. Yeah, I was worried. I was worried that it was a cyber video, because if it's a mm -hmm. cyber video, I don't want it to win. Well, uh, I mean, we don't have it physically on VHS. Right, right, right. No, somebody was, else found it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And gave it to us. I think that I think that's totally OK. Within, within, yeah. So this one, the story of how it was found is just as good as the video. This was um, an, a restaurant inspector was at my hometown um, pizza hut in Stoughton, Wisconsin, where I'm at right now said, hey, they're moving locations. They're moving to a smaller location. They're downsizing. I found a box of uh, about a dozen VHS training videos from the 90s. Do you want them? This is just got it on Instagram, my personal Instagram. And I said, absolutely. My dad went down there the next day and mailed them to me. And we've been going through them. And I think I'd start with the beginning one, which is for a product that was from 2000 called the, the Pizone, which was a um, basically a medium pizza folded in half and made into a sandwich. So here's how to, to you we all know what a Pizone is. We all is, know what right? a Pizone is, but if not, here's um, not only what a Pizone is, but how um, one of the people taking the phone calls for deliveries handles uh, like t selling people on the Pizone. Here at Pizza Hut, we're pleased to introduce the new Pizone pizza, the pizza you eat like a sandwich. Don't forget the side of marinara that goes with each pizone. By the way, somebody on our Discord, our Patreon exclusive Discord, made this a GIF. Sandwich. Just this. Don't right forget here. the side of marinara that goes with each with, pizone. With the Let's take a moment to watch a CSR in action <laughs> as she goes through each of the key service points. Thank you for calling the South Rock Road Pizza Hut. This is Amy. Will this be for carryout or delivery? Uh, for delivery. And may I have your phone number, please? 547-2519. Would you verify your address? Yeah, it's uh, 1484 Evergreen Drive. Okay, Mr. Richards, would you like to hear about our new Pizone Pizza? Yeah, uh, sure. Well, it's a pizza you eat like a what sandwich. What else do I got going on? It's a medium pizza crust filled with toppings, folded in half and sealed, and then it's cut in half, and we serve it with a side of marinara. Yeah, let me ask you a question. Why? You can choose from the classic, meaty, or pepperoni, and you can get two Pizone pizzas for only 10.99. 
Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Uh, what, what comes on the, uh, the classic recipe? The classic has sliced mozzarella cheese, Italian sausage, green peppers, and red onions. And they're two, two for $10.99? That's right. Um, yeah, I'll take, uh, I'll take two of them. Uh, one classic and uh, one pepperoni. Okay, and would you like some breadsticks with your order? No, no. Uh, but I do need a uh, two liter of Pepsi. Okay, that's two Pizzone pizzas, one hotel. classic, one a pepperoni, two liter or two and a two liter of Pepsi. Pizzones. Your total comes to thirteen eighty four, and we should have that out your to you in about thirty minutes. Total comes to five thousand calories. Thank you for calling, Mr. Richards. Okay. Enjoy your Pizzone pizzas. Bye. Goodbye. Soon, you'll be making and serving this year's most unique pizza product, the new Pizzone Pizza, just another one of the best pizzas under one roof. I mean, <laughs> the ending too. Who, who calls up a pizza place and is willing to take risks? Yeah. Nobody's willing to take risks on a pizza delivery phone call. You know exactly what you want, and you're going to order that. Oh, a Pizzone? Sure, yeah, I'll try a Pizzone. I'll try something new. No. Nobody does that, especially that guy. Yeah. Can I explain the design? Yeah, sure. Why not? I mean, who, who is that? Who is Mr. Richards? It's just me and the hostage over here in the hotel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're going to need two pizzas, by the you way. You want a classic or a meaty? Um, and the other thing I like about it is I tweeted a short version of that I, on our Twitter account. And Pizza Hut said, hey, that's a blast from the past. They, their official account liked it. So for that alone, I feel like the story, that's got to be a contender for top video of the year. I'll, I'll, I respect the hell out of that one. Yeah, I respect the hell out of, yeah, yeah. I George, the hell. Where, where are you at? Well, I think um, I think this was a Nick video. I'm not sure if this was a cyber video or a ravioli, but um, this was um, Peter Pan local productions uh, where there were mishaps because there's always somebody attached to a wire. And there, there was something about the inertia of the, young actors slamming into things that made me laugh so hard it, um it, it's i think it should there should be a movie called um faces of pan where because it's just it's so dangerous it's so disturbing um yeah i, I, I don't know I, I enjoyed it more than i should have Yeah, yeah, that's not good. The guy videotaping. <laughs> so you think it's done? The production is. This is from the same, same play now. <laughs> I mean, it's almost an exorcist play. <laughs> yeah, and you can hear him go, "Oh my god!" <laughs> it's bad. It's like ILM has been has been trying to make that happen in the Avengers for decades. You're like trying to make that kind of thing slamming into things seem real, but there's nothing nothing more real than that handheld. So George, shot. George, just to be clear, your your second favorite video of the year is one where children are getting hurt. I don't is think right? they were hurt. I think there was there was the risk of being hurt, just like eating uh, a pizzone. Okay. If okay, they were really hurt, it would have been his number one. Right. <laughs> Well, Steve, what do you have? What's your number two? So my number two is um, it was home movies. And, you know, whether it's uh, Kurt's 40th or Memorial Day, like some of these are my favorite. They always have like a slice of time and they're just so much fun. Uh, this one takes place in Ocean, uh, Ocean City. I tell you how young you look, not how old you look. How old you feel, I mean. How, how you doing? Good. What are we guessing, young lady? Yeah, look at the camera. Look, we're going to be on USA Today. Yeah. See that? Now, wave real nice to the band. We're going to be on wave USA nice. Today. Come on. Yeah, see that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that sums up the 80s. 
somebody coughing on their way into an arcade. <laughs> oh, where's that joystick? <laughs> the kid and his grandpa, Ocean City, Maryland. Jeffrey, don't do that. No, don't know. <laughs> Uh-oh, Grandpa's had enough. There you go. <laughs> the kid fought back. <laughs> Remember when grandparents could spank their grandkids? I mean, uh, it's a different era. Weird. Yeah, a different uh, time. Yeah. Uh, good one, Steve. I didn't see that one coming at all. I yeah. completely forgot about that one. Deep oh, cut. I love those. Yeah. Deep, deep cut. What was that? Was that from a documentary or a movie or something? Or what was that... Uh... Just a home movie we had. Yeah, it was from Ocean City, Maryland. Uh, yeah, that okay. was it. Played it during right. the summer. Back to you, <sighs> Joe. All right, you ready for my number one? Let's. I don't. Yeah, I don't I, know what I, this is going to be. I don't like going first on the number ones because then all the other. I want. I want this one to be in our memory last. But anyway, it's just the way that the 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 deck was shuffled. Right? Mm -hmm. Is that how the saying goes? Yep. The way the deck was shuffled. Um, this one, Bob sent this one. It's a natural healing crusade uh, by this guy, Dr. Richard Scholes. Um, and, you know, we get a lot of these like new agey kind of videos about like uh, magic herbs and stuff like that, that will heal your bowels and uh, make you better again. But this one uh, is, is way better than all the other ones. I put together the supercut here of uh, Dr. Scholes. Elimination, the first step. The following video footage was captured live at a rare Dr. Schultz public appearance. Okay, the bowel. So I'm going to tell you a little bit of my bowel history. Every Sunday, my dad used to go in the bathroom to have his bowel movement. Sometimes I'd hear a little... And I'd go in for my bowel movement. And I would go in and it was like a green cloud, you know, a toxic waste dump in there. I remember sometimes it wouldn't come out. And when it did, it was kind of like, <laughs> once I pooped in my pants in school and I just left it in all day. And that to me was pooping. I had a young lady come to me. She said a bowel movement came out of him as long as from her fingertips to her elbow, as big around as her forearm. She said that once it was in the toilet, they couldn't flush it down. Her husband had to get a shovel out of the garage and chop it up. I love bowel stories. Want to hear about some worms? Oh, I got a lot of worm stories for you. And I'm sure some of you have some too. Constipation. I want to guarantee your bowel works tomorrow morning. One bowel movement every three to five days. That's what we teach our kids. One bowel movement a month. Two bowel movements a year. One or two poops. Six bowel movements in a year. Five bowel movements in one year. Ten. 15 bowel movements a day, 21 bowel movements a week, 120 bowel movements in her entire life. Um, more poop and more poop and more poop. Poop was bubbling out of the ground. Dirty or a nasty poo poo, you did a bad one. So your wet, drippy fecal matter can come out into it. Hot liquid stool. Excuse me. Diarrhea, hot, burning, lots of stomach pain, some bleeding, and hot fecal matter went all over her dress and all over her boyfriend. Fecal matter. Oh, man. Oh. This is Mac. Uh, after going through the program, I didn't feel that I had a complete bowel movement. So I continued on and kept going on until after the end result was actually, I don't know how many feet this is. Well, a bathtub is about five feet long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that. that's, so that's that's you, that's Max Five Footer, mm -hmm. and uh, that I mean that's what this clip will always be known as Max Five Footer. Um, but there's so many questions about Max Five Footer. Like, did he plop that into the toilet and then piece it together like a puzzle in the in the bathtub, or did he hover over the bathtub with his pants and underwear off and walk it along, and so that he dropped it along the way? 
I think the, I think the latter because I think uh, he knew Dr. Scholz would want the photo evidence of it. And he'd be impressed if he saw the links. So he's okay. kind of this is walking a in. George uh, uninteresting mystery in the in the making. I, right I think this would be the most interesting. interesting yeah, there's nothing uninteresting about this. <laughs> this is not. Is that is that double tapered? I don't. Uh, <laughs> I think it starts. <laughs> also, I would say it starts on the. Well, I don't know. Where do you think he started with this? By the well, drain or the, by the, the rectum? Well, yeah. I honestly, I think hands were involved because I don't think there's any way that you could get your feet. If you, I mean, just how many to, hands? I guess is I, the question. I mean, maybe <laughs> Doctor Schultz was there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Lots of questions about this one. Um, Had a placenta, right. I think. <laughs> yes. Also, did he did he get this? Uh, developed at walgreens do you think because this is like right. a, this they is like would, a they won't develop anything you know just anything so yeah it's they had to yeah. get it developed somewhere special probably yeah so you know and it's curved so we're looking at five feet maybe more let's give them a little uh, appreciation for sitting on our floor okay so that's my number one Mm -hmm. uh of of and that one was like right at at january like yeah. it was like week two of january i, th I think i played it on my birthday episode mm -hmm. um and and bob had sent it i was like i already found the number one video of the year it's not going to get any better than this strong contender um, well I, I i put together a little bonus at the end here though do you remember when uh his little boy uh came up on <laughs> <laughs> and the little boy's name and the kiss uh, do you yeah. remember what the little boy's name was or okay. what he called what he called his what little cousin him. I what, yeah. or something like that. Lover. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lover. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, uh, I put this little bumper in between. Here we go. Uh, hey, lover. <laughs> oh, I love you. <laughs> hey. Daddy's talking about a poop conference, okay? Yes. <laughs> I love you. Yeah. Look, I miss you over here. Yeah. <laughs> we paid for this? <laughs> I see mommy. Wait, oh, it's not over yet. Hold on a second. I love you. <laughs> oh, one more time. I love you. Daddy. Okay. Oh, I love being a dad. It just, Nick, just as an editor, like, these yeah. are the kinds of videos that you get excited about. Oh, yeah. When this one comes in, there's Absolutely. so many great lines and it just like escalates and it gets grosser and grosser. And then you have an ending and then you have uh, lines that are unforgettable in there. Absolutely. And I think the same applies to my my number one, um, early seated number one. It could go well, any. Well, go I, I, I have some other things. Oh, are go you, ahead. Are you, are you segueing into yours? I was, right now? yeah, but go ahead. Okay, can we talk about my number one for a little while? We my have number been, one, number but go two. ahead. Yeah. Um, so, so Bob also uh, for my Christmas present, he sent me Dr. Schultz's intestinal formula number two, and intestinal formula number one. <laughs> and I've watched that video so many times that I think I might be brainwashed enough to actually try these out. So January, you know, we're taking off the month. Maybe, maybe I'll do it. Maybe we'll see what happens. Maybe this is the last time you're ever going to see me. Yeah, or maybe going next for time we, Yeah, maybe next time you see, you'll have a little curled Polaroid to show us. Yeah, we say make sure Albertina was not to use the tub. <laughs> <laughs> Run down to CVS and have them uh, develop my five footer. Yeah. Albertina, do you need the tub anytime soon? <laughs> I got a five footer, bro. Just call me Mac in here. Uh, uh, yeah. So bring, when, your, you bring your cat lover up and give him a kiss. <laughs> so wait, lover is. It would take two lovers to span the five footer. Do you think? Oh yeah, yeah, head okay. to toe. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Two lovers equals the five footer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To keep, you'd have to, you'd have to stand two lovers head to head just to equal the size of that five footer. Yeah. Yeah. It's a uh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Um, it's it's a, it's got to be the winner. It's got to be the winner. Otherwise, uh, I'm walking. I'm walking out of here. I'm, I'm walking <laughs> off the set here. All right. Yeah. Well, I. But we were talking about an editor's dream escalating. I think that is represented in this next clip too that I'm going to show. Which to me, it was the year of Dollar Bill, and Dollar Bill is uh, a pitch man for a warehouse of crap in New Hampshire. He would buy a half hour of TV every Saturday in the '90s and 2000s. Um, 
and uh, and would just for extemporaneously go through with a camera person following him, would go through his store, hold up crap, get excited, mug to the camera about it. And uh, it, yeah, it was just so entertaining. We have six episodes that comedian Ken Reed gave to us. And um, I did a little super cut, which I trimmed down to show you today. These are just some of the year of dollar bill. We have the most amazing deal of the day, which will blow you away at the end of the show. So stay tuned for this is the place to shop, this is the place to be. Dollar this discount. Now come with me, I want to show you some unbelievable deals. Come on. Yeah, baby. And your Markel soft pack for that little tissue issue. Ah, right down here, baby. Give me some love. Think of it, you're going to the concert and you don't want to be lighting up cigarette lighters. You light these up, man. You'd be rocking with ACDC. You'd be jamming, man. $3.99. $3.99. $3.99. $3.99, easy boys, it's Christmas. But here's your extendable UV uh, SUV scraper. I was thinking the USB port, you're killing me. I'm computer port now. I got a porthole there, like a bottle of porthole. You're killing me, girls. Pot of gold! Hershey's pot of gold! We need the chocolate because it's just not right without it. There is time. Hurry up, there's real time. It's unbelievable. Oh, phew, did you smell that? It's Hershey time, baby. Oh, it's Christmas all over. My heart is filled, baby. You need to bring more angels into your life. When you go to the mall and you go into the store and it's all nice and smelling, they got Abrahams wearing aprons doing like this to you, making you feel right, you know what I'm saying? It ain't right. The kissing there. Love me, baby. Love me, sweet. We have the oil for later. Oh. It's a beautiful kissing bear. Love Valentine's set. Great for kids, great for adults. Where's their hood? Oh, they take... Oh! It's a titty! Feel how soft this is. Ooh, baby. I could soften this all day. Oh, feel how soft this is. Just feel it, touch it one time. Thank you very much. That's enough. Not you, baby. Easy down there. These are monster balls. I love monster balls! Never touch anything sharp without your parents' help. And some of your parents don't touch anything sharp ever. They're holding the doll. They're holding the flashlight. They're holding their sister. They might be holding hands with their loved one, baby, doing the love walk. Come on. I do that every day. I used to do this in the movies in the 70s. You remember, don't you, baby? It was good for you. Okay. These are my own bananas. I brought them home, girls. Don't get excited. It was a banana in my pocket. I have cut the cheese, though. <laughs> you know how that is, boys. That's why I got the lights on. Okay, we've got a wrench that fits every size nut, baby. Oh, tighten your bolts, baby. Here I come. Ah! 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 Oh! Oh! Thermal sock. Ah! 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 Will Farrell. Ah! Christmas lights everywhere. Ah! Whoa! Ah! Ah! Yes. Ah! 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 Looky, looky, Captain Hooky while supplies that. Whoa! Oh, 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 slam dunk it and hit it into another end zone, baby. Oh, gosh, give me, oh, the choo-choo trains are coming. Oh, 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 Santa head, we love you. We'll see you in a few minutes. Bye. Dollar Bill. Dollar he's, Bill. He's a legend. He's, he's a definitely legend. a legend. Absolutely. And we had um, five different people dress as Dollar Bill for our annual Halloween costume. So clearly he struck a chord. People love Dollar Bill. And uh, yeah, I, I think that had to be my number one. But uh, is, there, uh, is there any contact with him? You, you, you've you been in touch yeah. with him, haven't you? Or? Yeah, he just doesn't seem motivated to want to do anything with us. I was like, can we come up, look at your warehouse? And, or you know, because he has all his old episodes. And I was like, can we come look? We'll pay you. And he's a businessman. He's like a consultant now. And he just isn't high on his priority. Well, he, doesn't, he doesn't have dollar bills anymore, right? I mean, like, no. there's no incentive for... Yeah. To promote so it. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he makes, no, he, he's making a decent living doing other stuff. So he, yeah, I mean, I, I was in touch with him, but the trail went cold, basically. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, let's, uh, we still got George and Steve. What do you got for your top videos of the year? Well, for me, it was, uh, I, th I think you pulled this, Nick. This was from uh, Huntsville Rewind, right? This was. Uh, yes, our pal Joshua at Huntsville Rewind, who digitizes TV from uh, Huntsville, Alabama. Right. It, this was a PSA, a local PSA um, for WAFF Channel 48 from 1986. It um, introduces a jingle, it introduces a mascot, and that mascot was uh, so memorable that, um, Nick, you dressed as him for Halloween, and it featured, and that is an amazing costume, and that is, you know, we talked about this earlier, that's what I want to be buried in. 
just so that future archaeologists think I'm a sultan or something. Yeah, well, it's know. still in the office collecting dust. So go ahead. And uh, and it has it's I'll, this I'll person you, who I love. I just I love her. I love her commitment to the bit. So okay. this is the neat Pete shuffle. I want you to be buried in the neat Pete thing, but in a really shallow grave. <laughs> Done. So like some seagulls pick it up and you just kind of <laughs> see. See it is like like a dog like is like digging there like a couple hours later. <laughs> Doesn't take much. Put your right foot forward, raise your hand in the air, and bend on over just as far as you dare. Pick up the trash that's under your feet and keep on shuffling down the street. Do it alone or with a couple. Now you're doing the neat peak shuffle. Pick up the trash that's under your feet and keep on shuffling down the street. Do it alone or with a couple. Now you're doing the neat peak shuffle. Now you're doing the neat peak shuffle. Now you're doing the neat peak shuffle. Put your right foot forward, raise your hand in the air, and bend on over just as far as you dare. Pick up the trash that's under your feet and keep on shuffling down the street. Do it alone or with the couple. Now you're doing the neat peak shuffle. Pick up the trash that's under your feet and keep on shuffling down the street. Do it alone or with the couple. Now you're doing the neat peak shuffle. Now you're doing the neat peak shuffle. Now you're doing the neat peak shuffle. <laughs> the one second of silence at the end is is that's, a real treat. Yeah, a that's, with a couple. That's that is definitely a good one. That's mm -hmm. definitely one of the best of the year it for is. sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I gotta tell you, I had both uh, Neat Pete and Dollar Bill in my in my short list, and I forgot how good uh, uh, Joe uh, was. It Doctor Schultz. What's his name? Yeah, Dr. Uh, Schultz. elimination the first time. Oh, yeah, so good. Um, yeah. I, I'm sticking with my theme of just uh, to me they were all mysteries uh, in my video. Like I'm not sure how short Dick Man happened. Uh, the Ocean City Home movies. I'm not sure what's going on there. And then this one, I think it's from the Baltimore area, but I, I might be corrected. But it's the mystery of Santo Gold. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Tim sent this one. This is this is the weirdest video because it's like I think it was an infomercial. It was on a, like late at night, like I think in the Baltimore area. And uh, yeah, it, it's a, a commercial for his movie and for jewelry. And for it. there's just a lot going on here. There's a lot, just, and you're not 100 percent sure what's going on either. It's dictionary definition of bat shit. Um, here, here's just a short clip. Santa Gold. Okay, so he's promoting his movie called Blood Circus. Say something nice and kind to the very next person you see. That's how you spell coming, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's <laughs> fun to check. Yep. Here we are at computer sheets each week. Each department. Is this isn't my edit, by the way. This is exactly as it was. What's the movie called? Now you have a nightmare. You can tell me. You sure? Yeah. Yeah. Right. You want to hear it? Uh -huh. Bud Circus. Now that you have seen the fantastic making of Santo Gold and have seen Santo Gold himself as he performs in the wrestling picture Blood Circus, I'd like to keep our toll-free number on your screen and repeat the offers to you one final time. And remember, we will accept your COD orders or it's your so Visa MasterCard or American <laughs> Express. He's trying to sell too much. Before we go, I'm going to repeat <laughs> these fine offers just one more time. We're going to leave our toll-free number up on the screen for approximately two minutes. This will give you time to go get a pen or pencil and write them down. So call now, toll-free. Our operators are on duty right this minute to take your call. We, 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 I mean, we were, we we're sold like four different things yeah. there at oh. once. It's just like... I have it's so just... many questions. I just want to watch it again and again and try to deconstruct it and see what's the yeah. matter of it. Well, the, the guy is dead now. So, like, I don't think we'll ever get any answers out of it. And I don't think, I don't know. I don't know if there's a tell-all book. I'm sure that somebody could do some research and, and, and find some answers. But uh, well, right now, it's a, it's a mystery. Detective. Sometimes, yeah, I know. Sometimes the mystery is just better as a mystery, you know, than not knowing. So, I, but I have a feeling like this one wouldn't disappoint. That's I don't true. think this one would disappoint. I feel yeah, like it'd be the like the next shit. Tiger King miniseries, basically. Like it would just <laughs> exactly. go into places that are pretty dark. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what um, a year. What a year in VHS 
finds. It's incredible, really. That and especially, let me just say that like we've been doing this show for 18 years. That well, not VCR party, but Found Footage Festival. And every year when we've been done with a tour or whatever, we always think, well, we found all the great videos. We're done. All the dumb videos have been excavated. And every year we are consistently finding new and great videos. It's so. a bottomless pit of of uh, stupidity. Of, of like or wonderfulness however you want to call it yeah um yeah it, but and we would I don't, I don't think without vcr party we would be able to do this though you know mm -hmm. like like bob sending body art and elimination the first step or huntsville rewind yeah with the neat peach shuffle it's just uh yeah so so thank you to everyone yeah who's thanks to everybody tapes yeah. and yeah now i have a poll set up where we could each vote for our top three and do it that way or we could just talk it through what do you think I think we have to. Can, can we involve the Melindas on this one? Can we go on put it on our Patreon? Yeah, well, I can. And, we can and put do, it on our uh, Patreon. Why don't we just do our top nine or our top twelve of, of all of all our top threes? All four of our top threes. Okay, and so see, they can vote what, between the four, and the Melindas decide. I, yeah. See, I, I, I so. kind of feel as though we need to have ours, and the Melindas have their own. Mm -hmm. like, I, you know, that's, that's what not, we did that's last not year. That's how the I, awards. That's not how awards work. But that's though. how the awards worked last year. Did they? That's what I believe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it did. Yeah, we picked our own last time. Yeah. Yeah. Because we, we, we VCR, VCR party should declare its number one. You're right. You're right. There. You're right. Yes. I you're absolutely so. right. Yeah. yeah and yeah, I can yeah. still yeah. make the poll on Patreon well, and we might find out, you know, that. Yeah. No, one I think, think Let's definitely different. do the poll on Patreon. Okay. But like, I think it's like Times Man of the Year or per Person yeah. of the Year is that it. it that Listen, we have it's the to, coaches poll versus the AP poll. If you follow sports, the people's like choice that. awards yeah. versus the, yeah, yeah. The okay. Yeah, exactly. Um, all right. So my vote is for elimination. The first step. Well, are we just going to vote for our own here? Cause I, <laughs> we all have one. So, <laughs> well, okay. Here, if I'm being diplomatic, Make your here, case. Yeah. I, well, elimination. The first step is classic found footage material. Like that's exactly what we look for in a clip. And uh, this guy, he's uh, being sincere. He's not trying to be funny. He's trying to be like serious and trying to get serious information across, but he tries to be funny. He has a little boy, he has lover there. We got some great audience reactions to cut away to. Some of the best audience reactions I've ever seen on any of these tapes. And, uh, and uh, he has a ponytail. And also he has maybe like, 15 other videos that we can mine. It almost reminds me of Rainbow Sponge, Magical Rainbow Sponge when we first found that first tape and then we realized, oh, there's a bunch more and they're all equally as good. So this one has me excited. There's so much more out there. And this is this is day one of Dr. Schultz, Schultz uh, in his healing crusade. So uh, that, that that's why that's my number one. Yeah, and I, I also love Dr. Schultz. My concern is that do we want to be represented by filth? Do we want filth to represent our top video of the year? I understand year? that. I understand that. Yeah. Like if we're if we're on a talk show and they're like, well, tell us about you know your best video of the year. We don't have time to go through everything. I mean, to me, Dollar Bill is like pretty representative without, and it's good, clean family fun. We don't have to see a five foot ball movement. So, I mean, I'm torn. I'm torn. It's like, what other video do we have a five foot ball movement? like on a on a small on a small photo that he had printed out at walgreens yeah and he's showing it to an audience to show off his fight there's no other video in this collection that has that and plus do dollar bill i love him but like he's trying to be wacky he's trying to be goofy that's something that we steer away from in this show well but uh, he's not succeeding at what he's trying to do i don't think um you know he's 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 weird in a way that he doesn't think he's being weird. He thinks he's being Robin Williams, but his jokes aren't landing. You know, I don't know. I think, I, yeah, no, I think, I think he knows exactly what he's doing. He has to yell and he has to scream. And he has to run around mm -hmm. and it's funny. And I like doing it and I like watching him do it. And I'm impressed that he can do it for like 30 minutes straight. But I think that he's trying to be way. He's not actually like that. Dr. Right. Schultz is actually like that. Yeah. I gotta well, tell you. Mm -hmm. Walking into this, I thought Neat Pete was going to be the winner this year. Like I thought, like <laughs> just thinking about it, I was like, "There's going to run away with it." And then I've got to say, both um, Dollar Bill and uh, Elimination, the first step, just have so many more layers to it that I even remembered watching them. <laughs> uh, but I, I can't believe I'm going to do this. I'm going to side with Joe. 
Really? I think there is just, and I am not a filth man at all. I think we all know that. Mm -hmm. Uh, But there is just so many different layers to that and so many different notable moments. And then I think the, the, what got me is when Lover came out, like eventually when Lover (laughs) comes out, I'm just like, it's gotta be the video. And I I mean, that's no, no uh, affront to dollar bill because I, that was even better than I remembered it being. And I, I remembered it being a top one. one of my let top me just, videos. let me just throw this out too. Like the original edit was six minutes long and that was just, it was solid. Not, not a max five <laughs> footer solid, but it was, it was a solid edit. It was so dense. And the, what, what you saw here was a two and a half minute edit. And so like, there's so much more in there. And what so it was a bell symphony and there were several <laughs> movements. Um. <laughs> George, what do you, what are your thoughts here? Okay. So let me just say that, I expected some Nick for you to put I got it to be one of your top three mm-hmm. and I would have voted for that because mm. it had it was it had like the magic of of um, VCR party and found footage of somebody remembering a video from their youth that like um, was memorable and affected their little life sort of and mm-hmm. I don't know wait, 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 what's I got it what, what that, that was the, the uh, menstruation video. the pancake oh sure sure just because sure. yeah, yeah. And you know, weird analogies are great. I don't know. I um, think four guys voted for the uh, period video to be the video of the year. I would have. I don't know. Okay, but it's not part of the twelve. So, okay. Um, elimination: the first step has like everything that's in a great found footage, um, like video. It's got like montage. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's it's so montageable, and you did yep. a great montage. It's got bizarre behavior by people who don't realize they're being mm-hmm. bizarre. Um, and yet I'm, I actually want to go with one sweet story, the Sarah Lee pie video music video. Cause I think that actually made people laugh the most mm. uh, like on the show and in the audience. But yeah, uh, but no, we've got to break this five foot tie. And well, well, okay. But George, I was going to say, if I were to concede Elimination of the first step. The first one I would concede to would be One Sweet Story, the music video for the Sara Lee Pie video. And I, I just because I just really felt like we all shared a moment in that in that mm-hmm. episode where like it was just like, oh, it's just the ending of the show, just whatever. Right. And all just of a sudden tears it just going. Fl- just oh, I, well, I, and remember I played I played part of the first part of that in as one of my raviolis. And then I'm like, I have I have the second half <laughs> that I'm gonna play. As we go out, and then what's, we, what's it, the one in your raviolis? Was it any good? Yeah, yeah, it was just the first minute, and then I said we have five more minutes of that. It's going to be the outro, and so we just, you know, it just kept going. So it was, it was in the main body of the show and just the outro too. So yeah, and oh, it's man. also a very weird video. That's it's it's very hard to explain that one. Just like mm-hmm. it's a, a Sara Lee training video. Is that what it was? Do you remember it was, what the yeah, video it was a was? promotional video about Sara Lee. It was like, hey, here's our factory in Minnesota. For who to watch? You know, the public. But then at the end, they're like, we want to Where'd thank. Where'd they air it? It was a video. It was a, I didn't air. It was a, it was a VHS, like. But they, but they showed it to the public? Yeah, it was available Where? for How? the public. I don't know, for sale somewhere. And then. Uh, for sale? I think so, yeah. No. Yeah. I think it was. It, it felt like an industrial safety video. No, or it was industrial training video. It wasn't. Sure. The whole video is like at Sara Lee, we, you know, here's why we're great. Here's why you should buy our pies. And then at the very end, they're like, we want to thank the people who make Sara Lee possible. So here's our goodbye music video. And then at the very end, it was that five minute video with all the employees in it. All right. So it's kind of a video that doesn't make sense because they put mm-hmm. out this video for the public, but how is the public going to watch this? Um, uh, Nick, I don't know if you got your story completely straight on this one. But... Well, it was, it was found on VHS in a, in a garbage can in Wisconsin. So we don't know exactly where it aired, but it was available for the public. It wasn't like industrial. It wasn't for people who worked there. It wasn't meant for us. It was for like grocers. Like, hey, you want to buy That's what I'm thinking. Here's I'm thing. thinking like they brought it in. Yes, exactly. To the Could IGA be. I feel like we're like arguing that. about the wrong thing. Here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. But I, I, well, watched the, I watched the whole video and it was really, it was mostly like, it had like great footage of like the pies and it was like selling you on buying Sara Lee what, pies. what I'm saying is I could be the, the reason I'm asking these questions because I could mm-hmm. be swayed to have one sweet story be it if I knew what the actual video if it was more of a mystery that's more enticing to me as to why that video actually exists uh, I don't know if Nick has the story entirely straight well, this could be one sweet Cinderella story 
if if we can if we can sway you to that. But mm. I, I just imagine the band while they were editing, like the band was in this studio watching the playback, and they're playing it, and they finish the song. It's still going, and then they count back in to keep rocking it over and over. They're exhausted yeah. by the end. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, um, I don't know. I still I'm still elimination. The first step. It sounds like Steve is on that side. Um, I, I'm with Nick. I'm like, I don't want to have to explain why um, a shitting video is number one this year, <laughs> but we don't get that question that often. So, what's, so guys, what's the number one video of the year? Nobody asks that question. So it's kind of a number two video this year. Oh, oh. well, that's you know why what? maybe we do dollar bill number one, and that's our number two video. Dollar bill is not number one. Dollar <laughs> bill is definitely not number one. I would say it one is. sweet story could be number one. And, well, let uh, me just let me just reiterate: five different people went as Dollar Bill for Halloween. He resonated with people. I don't know. Nobody about went dressed as. I, lover. I remember two. I remember two. I can I can bring them up right now. I got all five of them. Okay, bring them. I'll bring up all five. Here all we right. Go. He said they, he said I can bring them up right now. I got all five of them. All right. All right. Here we go. I gotta find them. All right. Well, while that's happening, I'm going to talk about Santo Gold again and why I think that's being <laughs> undervalued. Okay. It is a mystery. It is selling a movie. It is selling gold. And we have no idea what the fuck is going on in that video. And I think that that is a quintessential uh, VCR party type. I, I would agree with you, Steve, if we had the video, the actual VHS tape here in our hands or somebody sent us a link on YouTube. And that's that's I, you can't vote for a YouTube video that we got. That was a cyber video. Same with Nate Pete. Yeah, neat Pete's the same thing. Yeah. One. Uh okay, two. Oh. Three. Okay. Four. So four, no. not five. Oh, okay. But so that's still put on, so I put on an elf. Okay. Yep. So it's not a, five. So five you're wrong. Yep. It was, okay, it was less than but what how you many said. people went as lover and Dr. Schultz uh just did Steve anybody and I. go as Dr. Schultz or lover <laughs> or that Max doesn't... Five Footer? We didn't do it. <laughs> what what won last year? Cabbage, did anybody go as Xavier Roberts last year? No, no but they nobody should've. did. Yeah, exactly. Um I uh I'm 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 sticking with I, I I don't know. I'm sticking with elimination the first. I'm digging in harder now. I, I mean, I'm still going elimination first. Steve's with, Steve's with elimination. Where, where do you I guys believe go? It. I'm not proud of myself, guys. I just want to say that. Where's your one vote, George? Where's your one vote? I Nick? mean, just uh, I I guess I I go elimination the first yes. step. All right, all right. We got a consensus sorry, here. Yep. We got a consensus. I, and yes. I will I it, will I will it, proudly it, put my weight behind Dr. Schultz as well. I think it does it does have everything. <laughs> Well, maybe not proudly, but I will. <laughs> I will be okay with having that be our number one video because it was my number two. Uh, no pun intended. That was if I, I, and, I had that on my short list. Okay, and and I'll say uh, I will dress as lover this year for Halloween. Okay, good. So. Then it can be entered into the canon officially. And we just need five people to dress as lover this year. Uh, <laughs> or yep, or four and, and one elf. The, yeah. Steve, I, Steve, I feel like you, like you and I could pull off a Dr. Schultz costume, couldn't we? I just got to start growing my hair so I can get the, <laughs> the ponytail out. Yeah, yeah, that's all we need. Unless you want me to be the tub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd like you to be the tub. Just well, dressed in all white. Oh, there you boy. have it. After some intelligent deliberation <laughs> and so a good use of everybody's time, the top video of declare, as declared by VCR Party in 2021 is there Elimination, is. the first step. It is official, Doctor Schultz. Uh, yeah. And then we do we want to track him down? Do we want to talk to him? Yeah, I mean, let's uh, let's find him. All right. By the way, I'm just <laughs> noticing so this, but Doctor Schultz looks a little bit like the guy who gets his penis uh, um, pierced oh. in your body art video. Mm -hmm. the body art video. Mm -hmm. Maybe if oh. he had a little bit longer beard and a chain necklace with a lock on. It could be two birds with one stone. Here. <laughs> Okay. All right. <laughs> Three birds because uh, he's, he's the accident stink guy too. So. Oh, that's right. Yes. Oh, okay. Four, including uh, his penis. Yes. Shows your Ravinelli's. Shows your Ravinelli's. Shows your Ravinelli's. All right. Do you want to get into IMG and IMG here, Joe? I, I just want to show. I just pulled one IMG. I was just like, I want to see what 2022 has in store for us. And so I hopped onto my IMG machine and. Um, I typed in IMG 2022, 
And this was maybe the fourth thing that popped up. And uh, I think that this is like, a, I think this is an omen or maybe a, a sign of what is coming for 2022. So uh, here it is. I really want to think So that's what we can expect <laughs> oh, for boy. 2022. It's uh, a you guys have... promising yeah. look at things to come. Well, <laughs> was that a technical Oscar? That looked like one of the ones it that was. you did at the smaller ceremony. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah. that was it. Uh, uh -huh. Now, Joe, you've been teasing that you found a Thomas's English Muffins hat on a skeleton. Um, that was yes, de a de Halloween decoration in your neighborhood. Yes, you sir stole it but replaced it with an equally good hat and you've been raffling it off and i saw a bunch came in before i left for wisconsin i saw a bunch of postcards came in wanting to win this tom denim thomas's hat we got a bunch in so yes on halloween night i for the for the two weeks prior to halloween i'd been walking by a lawn skeleton that had this thomas's english muffins denim hat he was wearing it the, the lawn skeleton was and I thought about stealing it every day, but it's my neighbor. And I was like, ah, oh, do I want to steal from my neighbor? So on Halloween night, I was like, this is probably going down tomorrow. I got, I wrote them a letter and said, Hey, can I, I, I took your Thomas's English muffin hat and I swapped it out for an Applebee's hat. I put an Applebee's hat on the skeleton. I thought that was an even trade. It's kind of stealing, but it's polite stealing, I think. So anyway, I got the hat and I raffled it off and yes, we got so many, uh, responses so many so many people sent it in and we have the uh sent, sent in their uh sweepstakes entry and uh i'm just gonna pull one out here and this is gonna be the winner of I'm nervous. the original thomas's english muffins denim hat on the lawn skeleton um all right i'm actually i don't want to i want to do this correctly so you can, you can just see i'm just randomly grabbing in here mm -hmm. I'm randomly grabbing this one here from um, he, he, there's uh, St. Paul, Minnesota, and they, they put it up, uh, uh, they, they, they sent it the correct way. So they are eligible mm -hmm. and let's see who it is, who the winner is from, um, Mendota Heights, Minnesota, uh, Jeff wall of beef on discord. Oh Jeff. yeah. Wall of beef. Wow. Yes. Wall of beef is our winner of, uh, the Thomas's English muffins hat that i stole from the lawn skeleton congratulations uh, <laughs> the pageantry the honor <laughs> this is yep. re receiving stolen goods right is that yep he said i am putting in for the thomas's muffin hat denim he put in parentheses that was on that lawn skeleton uh jeff and then jeff put a, a little drawing of the uh, lawn skeleton there so congratulations jeff i'm gonna toss it in the mail i'm gonna throw some other nice things in there i have another raffle that i want to do when we come back in february do you want to hear what it is sure let's hear it okay so um so my uh Okay, so for, for Christmas every year, my mom always asks me what I want. And I just, I don't know. I'm just like, I don't know. If, I, if there's something that I want, I usually buy it. So I just say, always get me really nice underwear. So every year she gets me like three nice pairs of underwear, like, like kind of expensive underwear, you know, like the Duluth kind, not like the Hanes bullshit. Mm -hmm. Like she gets me like the, the nice Duluth stuff. Um, and so then I throw away three pairs of my old underwear. You guys listening? Yep. You guys with me so far? So far, yeah. Almost. So this is one of the pairs of underwear that I was, <laughs> was going to throw away was this that, uh, Nick, I think you were on this trip with Marcus mm -hmm. when uh, he, he purchased this souvenir for me. It's South Park underwear. He got this in Thailand in 2007. And, but it has a Simpsons <laughs> elastic ring on it. <laughs> so I'm giving away this nice thing. I've been wearing this. It's an underwear error for card. <laughs> I've been wearing this underwear for the last 14 years, I think, I want to say. Um, and the elastic band is completely shot. And I'm like, I got to get rid of it. But I didn't want to throw it away. So I was like, we have this hopper. We might as well use it. <laughs> and so I'm giving away this underwear that I've had for 14 years. I washed it. It's clean. It's not going to give you any germs or anything, uh, but it has South Park on the fabric and Simpsons on the elastic band. And I'm calling it 
when you mail your sweepstakes, you'll mail it to, am I sure I really want Joe's South Park and Simpsons boxer shorts that Marcus got him in Thailand 14 years ago? And then I thought maybe I'll throw mm -hmm. in, maybe I'll throw in this Bazinga's hat that my brother gave me for Christmas this year. So I'm thinking <laughs> I'm going to call it, am I sure I really want Joe's South Park and Simpsons boxer shorts that Marcus got him in Thailand 14 years ago? And maybe he'll throw in a Bazinga's hat sweepstakes yep. the mailman will love that yeah so all right that's the next one that i'm going to do so okay uh, I just no way to get closer to joe involves a dream crush oh the let's annoy nick no we're, we're going to raffle that's going to be uh next year's uh okay. we, we we have to milk that for another year all right sounds good yeah. yep. uh there were a lot of highlights of 2021 we i think well due to covid we only did 28 live shows but that's still a lot all things considered um, someone found Kirk from Kirk's 40th birthday on Facebook. Remember that? That was a highlight. He still hasn't accepted my friend request. No. So, yeah. um, we did a, a live webinar for the 35th anniversary of Heavy Metal Parking Lot with some alumni from who were there in that parking lot. Uh, George and I watched uh, 12 hours of ALF in a row. Um, we did Home Movie Day with Skip and Katrina from AV Geeks. TV's Plunkets and Practical Thumbs. We did that as a special that made zero sense to almost everybody. Yep. The biggest inside joke uh, <laughs> that, that took us a long time to make. Uh, there was a two-word phrase challenge. We did that. Uh, we started doing those at our virtual college shows. That was fun. Yep. Uh, Bank of Ireland won the, the toe-tapping tournament. Um, we did State Jingles, the Songer Hater Challenge. We relaunched the SLP Club. Steve got a colonoscopy. Yep. And we, mil we milked that for all it was worth. And uh, George uh, came up with the greatest game show in the history of game shows, Mask Me Another, with all the Ben Cooper masks. And uh, But George, you did a lot more this year. And, uh, and like we always do, we asked you to cut together the highlights <laughs> from what you did. <laughs> yeah, this is just the goofy, some of the goofy crap I did. To, you know, really, my goal is to make you guys laugh. So I don't know how I did, but here it is. The I am jam for Joe. Mm. Yes. Oh, this is great. Yeah. Cause you've got fatality. 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 The content to the Jaleel White song. I'm not ready for the wild thing. We sell fins and beaks. Seven days a week. <laughs> Wet ass pets. Your Tamagotchi's weak. Doors unlimited. Doors unlimited. Doors unlimited. Doors unlimited. Doors unlimited. What makes people all over America break down and cry like this? Call one nine hundred nine. Oh, that should have been the video of the year right there. Watch this pretzel vendor at Grant on the Boulevard <laughs> in Northeast Philadelphia. First, he gargles with his coffee. Then he uses it to wash off his hands. <laughs> it is Welker Game Show. Yes. Oh, I'm here with musician and songwriter Lloyd Landisman. One of the things that you were inquiring about originally was this... Um, Commercial for white chocolate from Nestle, the Alpine white thing, Sweet Dreams. Uh, Joe uh, wrote to me a few days ago and said, somebody sent us Sweet Dreams. Mm -hmm. I can't get this song out of my head. Um, what can you find out about it? And in one of those serendipitous moments where I was just walking down the street, the lyric popped into my head. <laughs> oh, <pretty> man. <laughs> You're oh. so good. You're the best, George. Wow, You're absolutely the best. Yeah, and, and and this year in 2022, I think we'll we'll try to pay you. This year, this is the year <laughs> that we're going to try to pay you. I got to check my couch cushions, but yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> you pay me in laughs and friendship. We mentioned that in January, so we're taking the the month off, like from taping new stuff. But uh, we're, we've pre-taped a lot of stuff, including we've got Joe Para on the show. We've pre-taped some interviews, so you'll still get a VCR party episode every week. We've got and, a Who's the Yellingest? I think coming mm -hmm. up next week. I think that's going to be the first one. 
Yeah. And Saturday morning cartoons will be on hiatus for the month. But we toured um, when we were in Columbus, we toured the uh, Billy Ireland Cartoon Library and Museum that uh, Caitlin is one of the curators of. And uh, we'll have a, a, some highlights of that cut together and posted as well on, on a, a Saturday in January. So you won't be completely bereft of Saturday content as well. And we officially started a podcast that's called Bastard Tapes. It's the worst and most wonderful songs. I don't remember what the subtitle is, but it's called Bastard Tapes. It's on Spotify right now. We're working on the Apple thing. You got to jump through some hoops, but uh, it's on. Uh, you you got to listen to it. Tim Herod from uh, The Onion. He's finding the worst music and the best music uh, that, that has ever been recorded before. And uh, it's meticulously curated. So, uh, and he's super smart and super funny. And the next month, it's going to be songs that came from TV shows. So like yes. oh, the Urkel, yeah. doing the Urkel, yes. or like uh, the Mary Tyler Moore show. Like yeah. they, the, like the catchphrase song came out of that. So uh, it's so well researched and so funny. And it's, it's yeah. So look for that. In EP mode, we're going to be watching. Um, that's up for our. Uh, oh, by the way, you can also vote for your favorite uh, video of the year at patreoncom Festival. Well, you don't have to be a patron. Just go there. We'll have an open poll. And, uh, and also, you, but also their vote doesn't really matter, right? Because we decided there can be a people's right? vote. There can be a people's version, but nobody um, cares about the people's version. Well, I care. Okay. Um, and also uh, the EP mode, if you're a $10 and up backer is uh, we're going to be watching a Y2K video because it's the end of the year. It feels appropriate, right? Well, yeah, but I, I started importing. I've been importing it since I've, since I've been doing the, since I've been here. Mm-hmm. And this is the one that it looked promising, but this guy, like he's like in a Marriott. And he's like giving a, a lecture, but there are some wraparound parts where they talk about like where the earthquakes are going to be. Mm. I think it might be something here. Okay. We also have like, we also have like two others. We have this one Y2K with Leonard Nimoy. And then we also have this one, uh, another Y2K. So maybe I'll edit something together. It'll be a fun one. Best of Y2K. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. And uh, by the way, for Joe's birthday show, I just want to do a little tease that I'll be wearing this, so everybody can look forward to that. Uh, what the... what cigarette? What what uh, cigarettes are you going to be smoking? Have you decided? I got to go find some, but I might I might go with chewing tobacco because I'm going to be at my parents' house when we tape that. So I don't want to. Oh, smoke you can't in... smoke in their house? Well, you know, I got to ask them. I just have to have that difficult conversation with my folks tonight. So we'll see. I'd rather see you do chewing tobacco anyway. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see how it goes. But stay tuned. What are we going to go out on for the <laughs> last go show out... of 2020? We're going to go with some Frank Worley. This is this is uh, so uh, we found this at a thrift store in Wisconsin. Uh, we found one of these, and then there's a, a phone number on the back here, and we called it. And this com- this company's still in business. And uh, they churned out dozens of these videos. And this particular one comes from Golden Memories, Volume 4. And the last, the last song in the entire tape, Auld Lang Syne. So let's go out with Frank Worley singing us Auld Lang Syne. And uh, here's the thing for 2021. If we had been prepared for 2021, we could have done better. All right. And Happy New Year. And we'll be right back right after that. So if you didn't get something you liked for uh, Christmas, Hanukkah, or any other holiday you separated, Go to store.foundfootagefest.com and get yourself a winning shirt or a sweatshirt like this Melinda one. Uh, Thanks, everyone. Happy New Year. My nose isn't full of yuck anymore. Happy New Year. Now you're doing the Neat Pete Shuffle. be forgot and never brought to mind should old acquaintance be forgot watch him, watch him raise up here watch him raise up here. of old lang syne When we 
return, Dr. Selner will complete the bunion surgery. Yes, those are his pajamas he's wearing. All right, I gotta go. That's all, that's it. Let me see that one. Rocks are done. Gotta sleep, bye. That's it, that it done. We did our best. If we'd been prepared, we could have done better. What do you think about Bibra? About what? In a My nose is for yuck anymore. Ooh. That's all I'm doing. Triodal. Tinkerbell. We'll be right back right after that. And Kurt Polster, the real great guy. Night, night. Yeah. Goodbye. Jim's coins in Hilda.